cosmic healing is one of the um, practice that you draw so many energy work, spiritual work, to come into uh, practice, or we say to help other people and help yourself. Or we say to heal other people and can also heal yourself. And that is a major part. So that's why we are uh, required to study the first, second, and the third in order for you to have a base. Healing is a gift of God. But I do healing so many years and teach so much around the world. Okay? And all common thing I see when the beginning they do healing, people get result good. Okay, but later on they drain themselves and they get sick. And um, to drain a person life force take five years, ten years, fifteen or twenty years. We, we in the world of see great results. And we know now that like the Olympic or any kind of elite, they just want to whatever, whatever kind can, can of drugs they can use to give them a boost up energy to perform and get a gold medal. They're willing to pay for anything. And we know all these things have to take so much energy out of the body in order to perform a few minutes performance. And um, it's a forbidden. And, um, and after that, they know the consequence is they drain the body. But you don't see them right away. But you see the glory, they get the metal. <laughs> okay? But later on, all the effects are shown on after five years, 10 years, or 15 years. So I tell you something that I know well. And this cosmic healing is not a miracle, but will do miracle, okay, when you do it right. And um, the major part is energy will make you more energy. The same thing in the West is money make money. Okay? But in here is energy make energy. And when you combine the energy with wisdom and money, energy, wisdom, and money can work together. And the people don't know it. People nowadays making money, making money, spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. But they don't care about the physical. And for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years, the Tao said, energy has to come from a good physical. If you want a good performance, you need to have a good gasoline, high-octane gasoline to run. There's no such thing you want high performance but with very low octane to, to make a higher performance. They don't, they don't have that such thing, okay? So a very simple to do is the, um, <coughs> um, the first step we want to do is the um, combine the soul and spirit into one. A scattering makes so much energy, everything is scattered. As I, I, in the uh, basic class, we talk about when you go on the sunshine, where you feel very good, but you get a magnificent glass and condense the light into one dot, you can burn the paper, can burn the wood, can burn the fire. A laser, because they condense so, so much laser being together, so condensed, so condensed, they can cut steel. 
That is the focus. That's all. Okay? So the first step we need to do is understand how to get in the soul and the spirit. The power of the soul and the spirit is involved so much about the power of what we need to do. Because soul and spirit is manifest through our, through our physical and senses. Okay? And with our good physical and good senses, they cannot express out. Because soul and spirit just are empty. It's an energy. Okay? But out of this energy, they have intelligence. So we're going to talk about so much about energy, okay? And the um, and um, this we're going to be referred to this a lot, and that is the indigo or ultraviolet light, universal violet light. There are many names: true light, okay, clear light, and the. Uh, Primordial light. Okay. And uh, Tao deal with this many thousand years. And they have a very understanding. And it's a great improved my understanding a lot is when the West discovered that the whole universe are covered with violet light. And our heart, we're going to do a lot of heart. The heart. Our heart is the violet light, okay? And it radiates out tremendous power. And uh, that is a major thing that we want to do, healing intelligent chi field. If you have a good healing intelligent chi field, it do a big difference in the practice, okay? So we know that, and the um, heart like uh, a great communicator, you know. Nowadays, we know that there's a lot of study about the, the well can do the sauna. <laughs> they are the strongest sauna. They came from the, from the Atlantic, they can send a wave into the pole, <laughs> oh, Atlantic, Pacific, they can just send a message. Ooh. And everybody know what happened. <laughs> okay, all the well receive it. So we said, well is a great communicator. Our heart is the same. When you read in them out, you start to feel you have a communic you can communicate. Not only not only other people, but they the soul and the spirit, okay? So we're going to talk about how, because this is, now you are make this thing to be a practical. All what you learn in the spiritual work and energy work, now you have to put them together and how to use them. And that is the major part. But with our good basic, good foundation, we know now, if you don't, now everybody know in the, in the engineer and all the design, all the building, the taller they go up, the more foundation they have to do. That's all. Okay? So sometimes people don't go to the basic and they, um, get good foundation. So the energy and meditation is still a major, major thing we want to do, okay? So the first step, we know that while the light has intelligence and wisdom, they are networking, they are networking. And they are interconnecting to each other, the whole universe. How big is the whole universe? The, the star, the star in the space is so much. The number is just so big. So some, some scientists suggest that 
we have 200 billion galaxies. And uh, galax one gal 200 billion galaxies, one galaxy can have up to 100, million, 100 billion to 200 billion stars. And don't talk about planets. So there is immense number, but that only not even 10% of the whole universe. So that's why we say 10% with the, all the darkness, sometimes you see the sky is dark. It only twinkle, twinkle little star, that's all. That is only 10% of the whole universe. So you, you see the universe are so big, but they are interconnecting together like wide, wide web. And that's where they hold the energy and the power. And uh, most let, let, uh, make me understand all the Tao teaching and all and is matched with the universe. And I say, this is very important. Okay? So they have their whole wisdom and intelligence. Okay? That's what the universe and they have a net net by by network to control all these hundred and hundred and thousand and thousand trillion stars and galaxies and planets in law and order. Okay, and the doubt is that we when we attain we go up become part of the universe. And that's what the doubt said, I want to be oneness with God. So simple. Get your knowledge get your energy, get your soul spirit, grow up, that's all. You will be, if you grow up and have knowledge and have wisdom, you grow up, become part of the universe. Are you, are you say that this is the goal you want? Is this the heaven or what? Okay? So now, the second part, this violet light or indigo, some people understand the indigo light. Now we have a name called Indigo Chai. They're very intelligent, but they cannot function in this world <laughs> because they have too much here and they cannot function in the world. And very hard to difficult to get along with people because they are too much in here. Okay. So they, this violet or indigo light has a very powerful healing. That is the key. Okay. And uh, this violet light, what we're going to learn also this week, can be programmed. Okay? And we're going to learn how to help program and set up a program in the person and have them continue healing. Okay? It's the, you have the light and you combine them in the right way. Okay? Energy you have to know the property. Light intelligence, no form. It's floating around. No substance. Heart has substance, but no intelligence. Sexual energy has power, has force. The power and the force, tremendous power, but no intelligence. Okay? Like all the machine, big machine, they have so much power. Nowadays, you see tiny little guys sitting in the control, a tractor or a brick, you know. You look at it, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> they can go through everything, break a building, go through everything, group the thing. They have so much power, but they don't have intelligence. Okay, when an intelligent right person sit in the control seat, now they're moving, they are so much power. Mm -hmm. And too bad we're using this into the weapon. The weapon nowadays is so powerful. Okay? But with the intelligence of the human, we make it so powerful, so destructive. Okay? And the another one with an, um, an, um, the, the other part of the soul and spirit, this is what the Tao. I, I don't know this is the West, use so much money to prove that in the universe that intelligent. That's what they discover. That if you believe that 
when those intelligent up there is the one that attain, they, they grow their soul and the spirit, and they require, and once the souls we grow up, they attain the knowledge and wisdom by themselves. I said, you give a boy or a girl and tell, teach them how to read, how to calculate, everything, that's it, and the rest he can, he can, nowadays, they can just require any information, any knowledge by themselves in the mobile telephone. And where they get from the crowd. They are the same. Believe me, it's simple. If you don't believe it, you are looking for a more difficult way. Okay? And the soul and spirit is the energy. So we, only we can only feed them, is feed them from energy. And the best feeding them is a sexual energy. So we're going to talk about sexual energy again. We have so much sexual energy just laying there. You don't activate them, and you're gone. Either fly away or either gone, you know. In our cell, in the DNA, there are violet light, ultraviolet light, and they are communicators. If this violet light been turned off or something wrong with the body light, they cannot communicate with other cells and they cannot communicate with the order from the higher part, the, the, the brain and the heart, they turn into a potential cancer cell. So, so the first step, we need to get the soul and the spirit um, now we from five soul and spirit we come into uh, so we we learn so much about the five soul and the spirit okay so now five major one plus the higher spirit in the brain we have another one we call higher soul above the head we have higher spirit higher soul. They are, on, they are the, the same thing like feminine and the masculine. So the soul is in the doubt the, the they divide that. And they always pair, go out to be a pair. Okay? So we have one, so let's go. So this one you're going to use a lot because this is called higher soul. Sometimes we call higher self, a star above us. Okay? So if you have connection, it's low. When you know connection, this start quite far away. Okay? So usually, most people is when you put the hand here, the thumb in the middle, and your thumb here. So in here, they have a star. So this star we call higher soul. It coming into the middle of the brain, we call higher spirit, okay? And if we come, you come up, so this one, these two is valid line. This higher, higher spirit and higher soul is valid line, okay? And we come up into the heart, we call the original spirit. It's, come, it's a like a team leader of a major soul and a spirit that are residing in the organ. So original spirit, we give them a red light, okay? And they hold the position of commander, the commander, okay? And um, so if we go along to the sequence, so original spirit, and the second in command, we call liver the hun so the soul, okay? So this is the hun so hun so like general thinking, planning, all the dreaming is in the hun, okay? In the hun, we have three hun, okay? A responsible for some emotional and some thinking, planning, traveling, and dreaming, okay? Now, the next one, we come into intention spirit. So they give a name. So we give them, so the liver, what color we give? Green. 
So we say a green child dressed in green and look green. Okay. And the uh, intention spirit, and that is intention, the power intent. Okay. And we can see, you know, usually in the astrology, uh, usually we always, in the astrology, we see this is the heart. The red color is the heart, the original spirit. The heart is very big. And the rest is small. Okay? So this person have a lot of heart fire. But the uh, intention spirit in the spleen is okay. But the, the next one, so we call a, a, a yellow chai hold the power of intent. And the white color, the lung, the white color, the lung. Lung is small. So lung we call per soul. And oftentimes involved with decision making. Okay? And the uh, decision is very important. You have wisdom to make the right decision. That is very important. Okay? So that is the lung power. Okay? And also called the seven per. In what we emotional part also. Seven emotional. Okay. And the last one we call the willpower kit spirit in the kidney. Okay. It gives us the power, the will to live on. Okay. And um, so from that we come back down here behind the knee. In the behind the knee, uh, in the that we believe that they store an extra soul. So in the Tao believe that soul can get lost, especially the Hun soul. Because the Hun soul, when you sleep, they travel. A child, always like that. So child, I keep on, and I now I stop, I don't know, for so many years. When I sleep, I fly. And and um, many children, the same. Usually before 10 or 12, they always fly. So they think about Superman, you know. You, you sleep, uh, you fly. And that in the Tao believe that is the soul a child will. But when sometimes a baby born, and sometimes the soul and spirit, the soul, especially the Hun soul, don't stabilize. And sometimes they go out, travel, they don't come back. And that's why we tell children, the ba uh, baby dies. Because it's gone. They cannot come back because it's very new to them. Yeah. Now, usually, when the Hun So get lost, we have one extra one. We can replace it because they can get lost. When we get scared, boom. Very extreme scaling. The soul run out. And sometimes they cannot come back. So these people extremely chalk. We cannot come back. Okay. So we have to, if not too long, we can help them to call the soul back. And that is a soul retrieval. And that is a very important part of the whole practice, okay? And um, so now we have uh, come up to the bubble spring and come down to the ground. So come down to the ground, we have the earth spirit. So the, um, the one on the top and one on the below. But under the feet, it's go deep. So it's about six feet under the ground. Okay, six feet under your feet. And, um, and that is the earth soul. So these two actually, they're connecting outside. They're connecting outside. And they have the information of inside. And they pick up the outside and they inform us. So this tool is just like a radar. 
Now we say radar. Before that is the one that go out and looking for information, okay? Gathering information and feed to us. So that is the nine soul and the spirit, okay? Let, let's count. One, higher soul. Two, higher spirit. Three, original spirit. And four, hun so. Five, intention spirit. And uh, six, the uh, per soul. Seven, the um, willpower spirit. And the extra one, usually we just call them one. It's very important because we have a spare part. Okay? And so it's good, huh? But don't use them up <laughs> when you don't need it. <laughs> okay? So um, uh, seven, and below the soul, under the ground, about six feet. And they are connecting below, and this one connecting above. So it's just like a radar, just like a gathering information, and make connection to the above the universe and below. Okay. Like in the Tao regarding the moon, is the one that from the earth, we go to the moon, the moon connecting to the planet. And the Saturn is the center like the earth, so we're going to do that a lot also. Uh, because the Saturn is out of our tiny universe, Saturn is our center. But in some of the traditional in the West, Saturn is seen like, sound like Satan. <laughs> the Saturn we call the Earth, the Earth star. And the Earth is also Earth star. So we believe and we have connection. The Saturn and the Earth are very closely connected. And it's a hub for us into the pole star. Into the pole star. It's very important. Okay? And from the pole star, we have a connection into the whole universe. It's just like a gateway. All the email have to come into a gateway. Like in Thailand, all the gateway have to, email have to come to one gateway and from gateway spread out to the world. Okay? Because they concentrate, concentrate that way. So the same thing, you know, only time they discover is the same link, it's the link. If you understand this link, it's easy practice, okay?